fans, friends and subscribers, uh, welcome uh, to the Cricket Happening Show today and in this part of the Cricket Happening Show, well today it's going to be a real quickie I would say because it's a live cricket update because there are two matches which were played in the qualifying phase today and also there were four warm-up matches played. So I'm going to start off first with the, uh, uh, that, uh, I mean as I said this is going to be a, just a quickie, I, it, we would call it a real uh, cricket update on the T20 World Cup 2014. The first match that we are looking at <coughs> is between the Netherlands and Zimbabwe which have played at the Silhet Stadium with the, ball, the, the match going down all the way down to the wire and only in the final ball when one run was required of the uh, last ball uh, uh, last ball to win, the last ball of the, fi the final ball of the innings coming up and the Wusi Sibanda uh, smoked it for a six uh, to actually secure the win for Zimbabwe. We had a very close match and Zimbabwe are the ones who have, uh, this was a must win match for them and especially considering that they lost by, uh, lost in the, um, they lost in the final ball against Ireland. Uh, today they won against Netherlands on the final ball. <coughs> but it was a match which was very exciting which way, which, which was exciting all the way down to the finish. Netherlands, uh, 140 for 5 of their 20 overs, the highest scorer being the Coopers, uh, the, the, uh, the Cooper brothers, uh, uh, Tom Cooper contributing 72 or 58 balls with 9 fours and 1 six, and Ben Cooper contributing 20 for 24 balls with 1 four. They were really, really struggling at one stage. It was thanks to those Cooper brothers that uh, Netherlands uh, happened to get 140 for 5 of their 20 overs. As far as the balling was concerned, uh, well, today uh, the wickets was 2 for 24, Prosper so I bowled superbly, 1 for 38. I, I don't have time to actually go into the bowling figures today as I have to cover all the matches. As far as Zimbabwe were concerned, as I said, the match went down to the wire and it was uh, the, the, uh, the prime contributors <coughs> were Hamilton Masakadza who made 43 or 45 balls with 3 fours and 1 six. But Captain Taylor played a very, very good knock of uh, 49 of just 39 balls with 2 fours and 1 six. And um, Elton Chukumbra was actually promoted in the batting order uh, that failed miserably as Elton Chukumbra was out for a blob. And Sean Williams was the man who took Zimbabwe to victory. But Busi Simanda was the one who actually hit the winning hit. But Sean Williams also played a good hand in making 26 of 19 balls with two fours. And in the end, it was Zimbabwe who won the match against Netherlands to keep their hopes alive for the Super 10. Now, the other match uh, which was going on was between United Arab Emirates and Ireland. Well, it was decided by the Duckworth Lewis method because of the first time that we saw the T20 World Cup, which has been, uh, which was uh, stopped due to rain, and Ireland actually won the match by the Duckworth Lewis method by 21 runs. United Arab Emirates, well, they uh, they, they really struggled uh, with their batting uh, due to some very good bowling from the uh, from the Irish bowlers, and United Arab Emirates mustered only 123 for six of their 20 overs. The highest scorer being Shyman Anwar with 30 of 28 balls with two sixes. And as far as Ireland were concerned, well, they had contributions coming in from the when when rain play play stopped, play was stopped. It was 103 for three uh, in 14.2 overs with uh, Porterfield, the captain, not out on uh, 33 of 35 balls with two fours and one six, and Ed Joyce contributing 43 of 38 balls with four fours and one six. Ireland winning by the Duckworth Lewis method. Now let's look at the warm-up matches which happened. The first warm-up matches that I'm talking about talk, uh, talking about is between India and England where uh, India batted first, uh, India won the match against England by 20 runs, India uh, batted first, make 178 for 4, it was all thanks to a very good knock from Virat Kohli uh, who contributed an unbeaten 74 of just 48 balls with 8 fours and a quick silver knock from Suresh Raina of 54 balls, uh, 54 runs of only 31 balls with 6 fours and 2 sixes and Mahindra Singh Dhoni slamming 21 runs of 14 balls, 1 four and 1 six towards the end, take India to 178 for 4 of their 20 overs. <coughs> The wickets were shared by the Englishmen, Dernbash, Bresnan, Jordan and Bopara shared the spoil, shared the wickets there. As far as England were concerned, well, England uh, could, um, England were restricted to 158 for 6 of 20 overs for some very, very good disciplined bowling uh, from the Indian bowlers. Michael Lump played a very cracking innings of 36 of 25 balls, and 6 fours and 1 six at the top of the order. 46 coming in from Moin Ali who was uh, actually uh, playing in his first game here. He played 46 of 38 balls, looked very impressive with four fours and one six. Uh, 30 coming from uh, Butler of 18 balls with two fours and two sixes. But the but as I said, the Indian bowling was pretty sharp. The wickets were shared by Bhuneshwar Kumar, Shami, Ashwin and Raina and they found it uh, pretty difficult uh, to get, get the uh, Indian bowlers uh, off the track. And India won the match by 20 runs in this warm-up match. The next warm-up match that happened 
uh, was between New Zealand and Australia. Uh, it was a it was a match which was a very exciting match. In fact, it was a close match as if, if uh, as one sees by the margin that Australia won by only three runs. Australia batted first, and I thought uh, this was the this is the most. Uh, you know, a very devastating opening pair as far as this T20 World Cup is concerned. I think Australia has them in the form of David Warner, Arun Fair, and they showed us why today by by really, really, uh, you know, um, uh, really, really smashing the New Zealand bowlers to all parts of the park uh, in putting on 113 runs uh, for the first wicket in just seven po in, in just eight overs. So such was cracking stuff coming in from David Warner, who retired out for 65, 26 balls with seven fours and five sixes. Aaron Finch retired out 47 of 22 balls with nine fours and one six. And Australia uh, totaled uh, 200 for seven of their 20 overs. As far as New Zealand were concerned, for them, Martin Guptill uh, made a higher score of 62 of 34 balls with five fours and four six and 37 coming in from Brendan McCullum. Other than that, Anderson and uh, uh, Ronchi contributed 29 and 21 respectively. And as I said, the match went all the way down to the wire and finally it was Australia who won the match by three runs. The next update which is coming up is between South Africa and Pakistan. Uh, Pakistan put up a very dismal show uh, over here losing the match to South Africa by eight wickets. Pakistan were rolled out for 71 by the South African bowlers with uh, Dumini one wicket, Sotsobe, uh, Viron Hendricks and Wayne Parnell sharing two wickets apiece and one wicket to Aron Fungiso, the left arm spinner. For Pakistan, uh, 71 was a very, very dismal show by them. And the highest scorer, if you see, was Umar Akmal with 17 runs. There were only three people who reached double figures for Pakistan. Ahmed Shahzad with 12, um, Umar Akmal with the highest score of 17, and 15 from Saeed Maksud. As far as South Africa were concerned, well, they did it, um, I, I wouldn't say pretty easily, but uh, definitely they did it in a very comfortable manner uh, with Hamla 24 uh, and... Um, um, uh, uh, it was uh, Ibidi Williams not out on 20 and 72 for 2 Pakistan winning the match uh, sorry South Africa winning the match by 8 wickets uh, now as far well, the last uh, warm up match is concerned was West Indies and Sri Lanka where West Indies once again showing uh, that uh, why they are the uh, defending champions by putting on 172 for 5 it was again a cracking stuff this time from Dwayne Smith the other day we saw Chris Gale do it today it was Dwayne Smith cracking 60 of just 45 deliveries with 8 fours and 2 sixes and 43 coming in from Dwayne Bravo of 31 balls with 6 fours which enabled the score to 172 for 5 of the 20 overs. Sri Lanka, well, uh, they fought hard, but in the end, uh, it was too much for them, and they were um, uh, uh, they were bowled out by the West Indies for 139, the highest scorer being uh, Tilgat Nidilshan with 43. Uh, the spinners, uh, Sunil Marine, uh, actually picked up three wickets uh, towards the end in one single over to sink Sri Lanka, and he had figures of four overs, no maiden, four wickets for 24 runs, and Dwayne Bravo uh, uh, supported him admirably, three for 29 for him. Well, dear fans and subscribers, with this uh, live cricket update coming in from the T20 World Cup 2014 and also the warm-up matches, I am ending up my cricket report for today. Uh, thanks for your company and thanks for watching Cricket Happenings. Your host, Ram, will see you tomorrow. Until then, it's goodbye for, for this Cricket Happenings show. Thank you.